All right, man. It's time to bring back the thrift episodes. Woo. My decision, misambition, everything comes to a plan. Look for mystery. If you kiss me, I throw my fist in the air. And I'll fight for it right you need to make it. Do you think a murderer lives up there, Jason? Yeah, probably. Is the thread properly? Good morning, everybody, man. So, man, it is it is 7.58 a.m. The, this door opens up at 8. Oh, they're rolling up the doors as we speak. But you know what, you guys? Last time I came here, someone beat me to all of the cameras. And so I needed to get here first thing in the morning, and I was on a mission. And I am determined to make sure I get to all of the cameras first. With that said, they open up in about five minutes. I got some time to kill. I am watching some bad flashes. Shout out to Caleb. You guys know the drill, man. The goal today is to find any and all phone cameras. I'm hoping to find stuff that I could use for this upcoming trip to Hawaii. But at this point, man, I haven't found anything in a couple of months. Hence why I haven't been making the thrift episodes. But with that said, let's come and uh, let's go. Get in there because people are, people are starting to line up. So feels good. Let's go. Man, this is an all-out war. I've never been this early in a thrift store before. Ooh, man. Is this how popular it usually is in the bonus? Holy sh You guys, what is going on over here? There's a ton of cameras. All right, guys, so I'm just looking right now. It looks like we got a Canon right there. We got a Minolta right there. It, it might be an X700 in the corner. I'm not 100% sure, but it looks like there's a ton of different cameras available right now. They're right, man. The early bird gets the worm. Can I see all of the, the silver camera, that one? I can only give you two right now. Okay, that's all right. Want the, one, the one right there. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right, guys, check this out. We got a Canon TX. This is a manual SLR with a 50 millimeter 1.8. Looks like it's the breech lock mount camera. Going for $49.99. I believe this one is 25% off. Someone calculate the math there in the description below. We also got a Minolta SRT 101 right here. This one has a 35 to 105 Asinuma lens. I've never seen that before. This one is 60 bucks with a 25% off discount. So. Worth it or what? Uh, what is that the Minota? The Mono one? one? Yes, sir. Yeah. That's King James, right? Something like that. That's what's up. <laughs> came early today, huh? Yes, sir. You gotta get out. Yeah. I'm good so far. Uh, okay. You wanna return one and I'll give you another one? Okay. That's mine, yeah. I'll see you on the YouTube. Yes. You watch our YouTube? Yeah. Awesome, man. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very good. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> but that one. Oh, the E.5. E.5. It has no branding. See that? Yeah. Oh, this is funny. It's a generic one. Yeah. <laughs> no, look. Look, the Japan make. Yeah. Japan, yeah. Made in Japan. <laughs> A little bit of dust in there. Guys, it, it, it's kind of a tough choice, mostly because I love the SRT 101. It's one of my favorite cameras of all time. It is 10 bucks more, has a better looking body. Pure mechanical goodness right here. On the other hand, you got the Canon TX, which I'm actually not too familiar with, but it, it's very similar than the Minolta SRT 101. So it just comes down to which one we're gonna take. Honestly, I don't know. I'm still debating on which one to get. All right, guys, I think I made up my mind. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we start the day, man. Insane fine. You guys are going to see later, man. I'm really, really happy about this purchase right here. It's been so long since I found anything good in a thrift store, so... You know, pardon my reaction here, but still very, very early in the morning. Let's go on to the next one. Hello. You do uh, 15? No. Not 15. 18? 18. I'll take it. That's what I'm talking about.
You know we gotta show the Digicam culture some love, man. Let's go. Second find of the day, on to the next. We still have like maybe four to five stores to go. I'm feeling good about this one, but let's see. And let's get off to the next one, you guys. All right, so I drove about 30 minutes up towards like the South San Francisco area. And you know what? When we were in Atlanta for the KEH meetup, one thing that really surprised me was just how much you guys enjoy the thrifting videos. Of course, the first video that I'm filming on my way back here is a thrift episode. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at this. We got a Minolta talker. No freaking way. I gotta make this one quick. No, oh, Canon T90. That's crazy. Hold on. Check this out. We got a Canon T90. Seems like it's working with a little battery grip action. $150.99. 50mm 1.8. That is pretty steep. Not gonna last expensive. No luck on that one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you win some and you lose some. That one was a big fat loss right there. They had it originally listed for 100, but for some reason there was another sticker over top that said 150. I asked to get it for 70 because there was no bag or no case and it looked like the camera wasn't working and they insisted on like the lowest price being 120 so I got to pass on that one you know I'm really just doing this mostly for fun just to experiment around with different cameras and so that's all right like I said we lose some but what a what a beautiful camera in person though that was actually really really cool <laughs> <All right. laughs> what's going on you guys so we are back home now and as you guys can see already, man, we are joined by a very special guest. Most of you guys know him already. This is my best friend, Game Boy, right here. So, yeah. I'm so awkward. Real quick, man, just introduce yourself for the people that haven't seen you on the channel. I'm Doku. That's it. I'm Doku. I'm, uh, I just, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm in your video sometimes. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are back from the thrifts. Uh, we, we found a couple of items right now. And basically what we're going to do is we're just going to go through one by one and show you guys what we found because surprisingly, Gable, the last three months or so, I haven't found anything. Hence why I haven't made any thrift videos. I, I believe it. It's, it's rough out there these days. It's competitive too. Super competitive. You got to go wake up early in the morning. Yeah. Wait in that line. You got to be quick. You it's, know, it's different, right? Yeah, you see someone in that vintage tee and the, the flannel and the whole getup. You're like, you're like, oh, he's gonna get all the film cameras. You kind of know, right? Yeah, you're, you're like, like oh, he's like, a film yeah. camera thrifter, bro. Yeah. Like, this was actually the first find of the day. Ooh. But check this out, you guys. We found this Minolta SRT 101 uh, with this gigantic, enormous lens. I don't even know what lens it is. Dang, look at that front element. It's a little dirty. So honestly, when I found this one, I wasn't too excited about the lens. It's a 35 to 105. But you know what? I saw the SRT 101 and I had a decision between this one and like a Canon TX. The TX had like a little bit of like a dent on the side. So, you know, the SRT 101 is still one of my favorite cameras. Oh, yeah. So I went for it. So I checked the shutter speeds, everything works. And uh, it says 60 bucks here on the tag, but Gable can affirm to you that I paid like 50 bucks total for it. So there's like a $15 yeah. discount. Yeah. The camera works, everything functions. And you know what? If I was getting started with film photography, I think I would be pretty happy with an SRT 101. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, this was, this was one of my first, I'd say. One yeah. of my first uh, SLRs. The shutter on this, oof, oof. You know, even though it wasn't like the craziest deal, I think it's good to find stuff like this uh, for people out there who want to start shooting film for 50 bucks. You know, this is a really good option right here. So that is our first find, the Minolta SRT 101. Super happy about the purchase. Probably keep it in my personal collection because it's actually pretty minty. The body itself is minty. It's oh, just yeah. a little dirty. All right, man. So the next find right here, we actually got for 18 bucks. Yeah. I'm going to let you do the honors of this one right here, man. Unbox it. Let them know what camera we found. That was $18. It looks like SD. I see the charger. <laughs> I see the charger. I don't... Uh, We'll see. Oh, I see why you gave this one. So this right here, you guys, is the Canon SD 650? Yeah, the 630. 630. 630. 
I've never shot with that one before. Have you? Uh, no, not this one. And what's kind of weird is on the front, it has like a chrome finish, but on the back side, it has like this dark plastic material. Like I'm gonna try to do a little zoom here. Pretty interesting. I think most of the time you and I both go for like that boxier Canon power yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah. But realistically, how much different is that one compared to like the SD-1000 that you and I both like? You'll get the, the same level of quality, you know what I'm saying? The images will look the same as long as it has a flash mm -hmm. built in and... Uh, this one seems a little newer, so it could be even like a little better. But, right. You know, you want that Digicam look, you just grab a grab a Digicam. You know, this will do it. No way. You? A hundred bucks these days? Yeah. I remember when they were like 40, dude. Right. Film inflation. <laughs> no way. You know, for 18 bucks, I was a steal, I think. Good, good cop, my guy. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you. So check this out, you guys. This book right here, I, I, I remember looking at at like a half price books, and at half price books, they were like asking for. <laughs> Brother. Check this out, man. This is an Annie Leibovitz book, and these are photographs from 1970 through 1990. And it surprised me because usually when you go to a thrift store, you don't necessarily find like great art books or photo books. It's like once in a blue moon. But I mean, like let's look, let's flip through like a few of these pages. Maybe not all of them. Uh, a lot of her work, you would say it's like documentary, right? Like a, I feel like it's like a glimpse of these people and their lives in their own spaces, you know? Yeah, she she talks about that in her like master class or something like that. I've, I've heard that. Yeah, I got I got the ads for that. <laughs> yeah, I got the ads for that too. But um, there's an element in her photographs that seem very street. Uh, maybe because of the candidness, I guess you would say. A lot of parallel between her work and street. And I don't know if she considered herself a street photographer. I think she just was just a photographer. She was just, you know, in her head, she's just taking photos, the photos she liked. But I remember going into the thrift store, I, I saw the book and I started to look at the photos and I was like, man, I gotta get this. And uh, show them the price real quick, brother. This thing right here, grand spanking total of $9.99. But we uh, got it 50% 50 off, so it ended up being five bucks. Probably the best five bucks on a book I've ever spent. This right here is a Pentax IQ Zoom. And I've said for years on the channel, these are like some of the most underrated point and shoot film cameras. Cause I think one, they are a little ugly. <laughs> They're not the most handsome cameras ever, but man, do they get the job done. These are amazing cameras with great autofocus. I think there's a nice little zoom range on there. What's 38 millimeter to 115. That is a super far zoom. We picked this camera up for nine bucks online. They're probably between 40 to 50 bucks right now. So I'm still going to say that's a steal on my end. Hey, oh, it works. Yeah. Hey, I'm excited for this. So check this out, you guys. When I went to the thrift store, my heart sunk a little bit because I saw the red strap on the back. And usually that red strap for some reason indicates like it's a good camera or not. There you go, there's the rest strap. <laughs> so we paid a grand total of $14.99, 15 bucks after tax. You do the honors, Gable. Feel like Christmas. Okay, so I actually have never <clears throat> held this camera before. So this right here is the Minolta Talker. Um, I'm guessing there's some like feature that talks to you. Oh my goodness, guys. So I'm watching the Niners game right now. About to start editing right here, but I just put some batteries in the middle of the talker. So check this out. On the very back right here, it says on off and it has like some person speaking. Dude, listen to this. Are you kidding me? One more time. It knows when there's no film in there. That is insane. Insane. Oh my goodness. That's what the camera looks like. I think it looks pretty dope, right? That is a handsome looking camera, bro. Let's do a thumbnail real quick. But this is like no other film camera or point and shoot that I've ever seen, honestly. I, like I said, I've never held one of these in my hand before, so I can't really tell you guys much. Uh, it does have a 35 millimeter 2.8 lens. Ooh, that's always a good sign, right? Ooh. Shoot, man. I don't know. It just looks like a really nice, handsome camera. Uh, I think the flash does pop up though. There you oh, go. Yeah, yeah, I like that. You like the yeah, pop-up like flash? That's, that's cool. nice, that's cool. right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, if you guys want to see a full in-depth review and you want to see Gable and I shoot this thing, drop a like down below and also hit that subscribe button because, man, this one's pretty damn interesting. But ladies and gentlemen, that pretty much wraps up the thrift episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys have found anything recently. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. If you guys want to see more thrift videos, drop a like down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, peace. <laughs> It's Minolta game, bro. <laughs> Minolta game. <laughs>